guys, what is going on? My name is Brian, and today we are coming back to do a part two of American Tries Finish Candies. So big, big thank you to Therese for making this even possible. She supplied us with part one, and now she's supplying us with part two. So big shout out to her. You should see her Instagram page here on somewhere here, and it, her the name is Tepes. So let's get right into it. Let's do this brand new intro. Alright guys, so what did you guys think about that intro? I had to specifically make it because of the fact that you guys have been, you know, making this happen for us. You guys were the very first to establish this right here on this channel. So thank you guys so much for all that love and support. And with that being said, how about we kick off this list? Alright guys, so to kick off this list, we're going to be going back to the company Fazer. I hope I am pronouncing that right, but nonetheless, we have about like 10 or 11 different types of treats. And let's begin this list. So very first on our list, with Therese describing it as a milk chocolate with a soft hazelnut filling. Yummy, we are presenting to you the amazing candy bar named Geisha. Which by the way, the packaging is very, very, very nice. It looks almost like Japanese style, so that's very, very cool. And uh, I'm excited. Jesus, I should not have brushed my teeth before filming this. But all right. Okay, I'm loving the fact that it comes in little chunks I thought these were Latvian to begin with. Actually, guys, I'm just remembering, I did this on the very first, I did a, a Latvian episode, actually, a couple of months back, and it's somewhere here on this channel when I just first got in my new hairdo. Whew. So, and I actually thought they were a Latvian company by mistake, and it's nice to know that they are Finnish. So this is great, so let's take it back. Let's refresh some memories. One for me, and one for the wonderful URX unicorn. Thank you very much. All right, let's do this, Blue. <laughs> All right, so I'm not gonna lie to you. That was actually really darn good. I could actually taste like the hazelnut in there and it has that little crunch to it. So I guess they do actually integrate some of that little nut feature. Yes, they do integrate a little bit of nut in there. These nuts. <laughs> I'm not even gonna show you guys because it's way too tiny. But yes, it has an amazing, amazing smell has a great, great test both before and after. So it's a really good experience. I really, really enjoy these. And once again, I'm just very, very happy to find out that they are from Finland. Hmm. All right, so up next, we currently got another, what appears to be a, hmm, I'm not sure what that is actually. So it's called Sufeli, also by Faza. When the, and what it says here as a description, it's a, a wafer with a toffee filling covered with milk chocolate. So this is the packaging, so felly. We have a wonderful, wonderful bright pink along with a bright orange, well, darkish orange. But it also very similar to the other packaging actually. They're both pink. So. <laughs> okay, so it looks like it's almost like a cookie inside of it. As you guys can see here, it looks like it's almost like a cookie. All right from what it, at least it looks like and it feels like. It smells great. It smells like chocolate, obviously. And let's try it out. Guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is actually really, really darn good. That right there, you get to see every single layer in every little aspect of it. So you should see some of the chocolate along with like a little white layer in the middle dividing it. And it seems to have some sort of filling. I love the fact that it's just so crunchy, so chewy, like you feel the air, like not, not in a bad way, but you feel like the space in it and once you crunch down, it all compresses it. And it's just this amazing thing to just bite into. So, mm. have to take a last bite before we move on to the next one. So thank you very much. I will definitely keep checking Sufeli out next time I go to Finland. So up next, we got yet another chocolate also by Fazer. And this one is a dark chocolate skimmed filling with fruit flavor. What? Jim has been in our food stores for sale since 1958. Jesus Christ, either you are a candy pioneer or Google is your best friend. So that is really amazing and I'm very glad. So. Without further ado, how about we have some gym and join our party right here. Big bright packaging with the word gym on it. Very, very thin. Uh, let me tell you, so I, I'm not a big fan of dark chocolate if you guys have not seen the very first part. And now the fact that there's fruit flavors in here, it's genuinely getting me concerned. I like fruits, usually not flavored items. But let's find out. Oh man, that smells dark as hell. It's 
Smells dark. So this one right here reminds me of Mr. Poop from South Park. <laughs> so, let's see. Let's take a bullet. Okay, so as I'm, so to begin with, I don't know if you guys can see this. This is like a white filament right here, dead in the middle. It, I would have assumed that it was like vanilla or coconut at any other given day. But as I'm biting into it, I'm starting to feel all sorts of flavors. I feel banana there for sure, which freaking URX Unicorn will love. This tastes very, very different. Tastes very odd. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm not too sure about this. I'm gonna go as far as giving this one like a four out of 10. I'm not a big fan of like, you know, dark chocolate to begin with, and I just don't like the fruit. I feel bananas, which is my most hated fruit, and like a mixture of all sorts of other things. I smell it, I feel it, I taste it. With that being said, I think this is very, very acquired taste. This is definitely not for everyone. Um, I don't see myself continuing eating this one, so I'm gonna happily give this one to your ex unicorn. Here, my love, enjoy. Gracias. All right, guys, so up next on our list, we have something named the Capo. And the way it's described is dark chocolate with rum tr and truffle has been for sale in our food store since 1916 and Finland became independent in 1917. So guys, this thing is just as old as Finland. This is freaking great. So I could, I'm gonna feel the, the, the power, the, the, the misery, no. <laughs> I'm gonna feel the rum in here and it's probably gonna kick my butt because I have been starving myself today. I'm kidding, one bite probably won't do much, but anyways. I love the packaging. It looks like chocolate should be in here. So definitely, let's check it out. Once again, dark chocolate. Hmm. And rum. Okay. I like alcoholio. All right. So very, very similar looking to the previous one that we tried out. The very similar looks to Jim. Also the dark chocolate. Wow. Just off smelling it, I can smell the rum. Let's test it out. I'm not against this one at all. This one right here is actually really good. I barely, barely feel the rum. I could smell it more than I could taste it, but I could definitely, definitely actually feel the dark chocolate in there. If I focus and I really try like to like, you know, zone in on like on my palate, I can really feel the rum like in my taste buds. Nothing that I'm gonna get drunk off of, obviously. And it does have a, a dark brown filament along with the actual chocolate, so it is consistent. This is really good. I would actually recommend this one to you guys. I'm gonna give this one a seven out of 10. All right, so up next, I noticed that we have Patkis, also by Fatser, and this one says, mint truffle coat with milk chocolate for sale since 1978. Not sold, not so old as the one above. So yes, the previous ones that we have tried are typically older, but this one on the other hand is apparently much newer. All right, so milk chocolate, yes, we're finally back to like the godliness that is milk chocolate. Oh my God, for some reason, Okay, so for some odd reason, it smells like mint to me. Like, I don't know if that's just me. Like, am I the only one? But I do like the design. It is very, very simple, very nice. Like, Jesus, like this is the kind of stuff that we need to sell here in America. Like, so let's check it out. Mm -hmm. Why do I feel like it's cleaning my breath? I feel like my breath is all minty now. This is interesting. I did not expect this. Oh, okay. Wow, I have really mixed feelings about this one. But overall, it's really good chocolate. I love the packaging. This this company makes really, really good stuff, by the way, guys. Like, this is awesome. And I love that they have so many selections that you could choose from. But I'm gonna get this one like a 6.5 out of 10. All right, so up next, uh, according to Cerise, we're about to get into the list that she says not many people like, but a lot of people in film tend to enjoy. So this seems to be more of like deeper, deeper snacks that Finnish people try out. So I'm excited, I'm also nervous, because I did read something about like licorice, or let me see, yeah, licorice and salmiaki. Not sure what that is. So next on our list, we have a candy named Lacrizzi, the original one, by Fatsit also. And the way it's described is sweet, soft licorice. In my opinion, again, the best licorice in the world. Whew. Let me tell you guys, I'm, I had the licorice very, very terribly. I have yet to find anything. Oh God, and it's black. So, no, not that that's a bad thing, but I'm just saying like, 
Okay. Oh man, that smells funky. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna bite into a piece of this. I, I love the fact that the packaging is black and white. And now that I opened it, this is the first time I've seen like a black and white candy bar itself or snack. Let's just bite into it. Okay. Not as bad as I had expected. This is definitely an acquired taste. This is really, really unique. I've never had anything like this. I'm gonna be saving some of this actually for my family members to try out. This is really odd. I actually don't hate it, but I also don't love it. This is so far, I'm gonna say this is the best licorice that I have had. And that says a lot, okay? I got mixed feelings. I, I can't even put this one on scale. I, I'm just saying like this right here is definitely an acquired taste. If you have never had this before and you're a big fan of licorice, try it out. I feel like you may potentially love it. Me personally, I'm not a fan of licorice to begin with, but this right here actually ended up on my scale as a pretty good, normal, you know, it's neutral. So I'm gonna consider that to be a good thing. All right guys, so up next on our list, we have yet another thing by Moomin. This one is called Moomin Mustica Va Delma. La Cristi, well I'm assuming La Cristi means licorice. And yes, and says, this is a sweet soft licorice with blueberry and raspberry filling. I'm actually kind of curious. I'm not gonna lie to you that, that, okay, so that one now gave me hope for this one. So I'm actually glad I had the chance to try out the, um, the first original, uh, original La Cristi first. We're gonna be trying out our favorite little cartoon from Finland, Moomin. All right, the packaging is always cute as always. We have the evil little devilish young girl right here and it's purple. Purple nurples. This one is also black, but it has a almost like bubblegum looking center. I don't know if you guys can see that there on the camera. Hopefully you guys can. It smells like bubblegum. It smells fruity. This one, it's just the smell of this one already is appetizing much more than the other one for me. So let's test it out. Okay. I think you might have found the first licorice candy that I actually enjoyed. This is a really odd, but yet really unique mixture. This is like opening my mind to like licorice options now. It smells so good. It smells like bubble gum. It has like a bubble gum feel to it. So it's a little bit more chewable, but you still have that hint of licorice. You, I would say you have, you have like, I'm gonna say the, the taste is about 70% bubble gum, 30% licorice. So you still feel it, but not as heavily. This right here, I am able to categorize. I'm gonna say this is a solid seven out of 10. This is pretty darn good. If I ever find a licorice lover, I'm highly recommending this one to them. This is really amazing. Thank you so much for sending this to Reese. You are unique. You actually found something which is really rare. Like, let me tell you, like people try to cook for me and give me things that I might potentially like and it's really difficult for people to find. So this right here, really, really good. Thank you so much. All right, guys, so before we move on to the next one, I think what made it for me was the blueberry flavor. That's definitely it. There's no other way that I could have like, you know, gone through that without it. So up next on our list, we have a snack called Sukulaku. And this one is by a different company name, Cloeta. This one is described as a sweet soft licorice with chocolate flavored filling. What? What kind of cycle would ever do that? But okay, Cloeta is actually founded in Sweden, but we do have a Cloeta factory in Finland too that uh, this licorice is Finnish. Okay, got you. So pretty much this is a collaboration between Sweden and Finland that it was able to make this a possibility. So that right there, I love it. Once again, guys, I love it when the world gets together and make things. This right here, let's test the top, my friends. This one, very similar to the Moming one. Uh, it does have a chocolate center. It's a filling. This one looks even darker than dark. I can't even say this is black. This is just like a new shade of black. So 50 shades of licorice. <laughs> With brown. Perfect. I can smell more licorice in this one than chocolate. Yeah, okay. This right here, the licorice, mind you, yeah, I don't know if it's just this bar in particular. Maybe, maybe it was sitting on the shelf for a bit. Maybe through flying over here, maybe it got cold. Whatever the case may be. But the actual outside layer is actually much, much harder in comparison to all the other licorice that we have by, that I have been into on this video. This one is still better than the very first one we tried out. If the chocolate filament does take over and really kind of balance out the the licorice flavor that I usually dislike. But I don't recommend this if you have braces. I don't know if you guys have ever had braces. This is kind of like 
a hazard to your brackets. So I've never had break experience with myself because you have a natural smile. But anyways, nothing wrong with that. If you guys do wear braces, avoid this. Are you guys a fan of licorice? Am I the only one in this world that's not like, the, like I don't know. Sometimes I feel like an oddball. Like I'm not a fan of coffee. I'm not a fan of chocolate, like overall chocolate. And licorice is a definite no-no to me. And then apparently you guys eat mousse. What the hell? All right guys, so we're getting close to the end of the list. One quick shameless promotion. I wanted to let you guys know, make sure you are following me on my Instagram page. Links to it down below in the description box. That's where I usually go live and I do all these things before I usually do these videos. So make sure you are following me there. We can talk back and forth if you got anything awesome to say. But yes, all right guys, let's continue. So up next, we got a candy. Apparently it is pronounced, according to Therese, it is pronounced Sisu. Also by Cloetta, the same company as that we just tried before. And thank goodness she wrote this paper. I just noticed that she put a warning that they're considered like laxative, especially after you smoke. So I'm not a smoker, but I really appreciate that she did indicate that. And it actually has the same packaging as a cigarette box, actually. So it has a little corner on the side that you're able to rip amongst. This is very, very unique. Never seen this before. So yes, she did mention that many YouTubers do happen to confuse it with calling it Gifu. Uh, but yes, so thankfully she saved my butt from embarrassing myself, hopefully. And yes. So guys, I am gonna give you a warning. According to her, I am gonna tell you guys, try your best not to consume this one, unless you guys have to. Or the way she describes it, if you smoke cigarettes, this is probably one of the best ones to have after a cigarette. So we're only gonna have one little bit. This is unique. I would have mistaken these for Skittles any day. So they have an S on it for Sisu, I'm assuming. And they're very, very tiny. They come in like these little translucent capsules that are like, I'm gonna say they're like a soft orange, more or less. We're just gonna try one out just for the sake of this video. It has a very dry smell, like neutral. I would say like almost like, I don't know if you guys have ever been to the side of like an old barn that it has like almost like a wooden smell to it. Very unique, very interesting. Let's check it out. Okay, so it's supposed to be hmm. Has a little bit of like mint to it. A little bit of like a mint flavoring to it. And there seems to be some very, very, very light touch of like a fruit kind of candy. Mm -mm. All right, guys. Sorry, I'm gonna tap out on this one. So. Wow, I never thought I would have to do that with one of these videos, but very unique. I would not recommend these personally. And I'm very sorry, Therese, I do notice that you say that there's a couple and some of them are even covered with sugar. Maybe the sugar ones have like a better taste to them, but these right here, it's definitely gonna require a specific taste or someone that loves like bitter stuff. So my best way to describe that these taste, it's like, it's almost like a chewable candy. It's like, I don't know if you guys have ever had those vitamins that have sit in the counter for like four or six months. They get a little bit harder. So it's a little bit harder to chew. It has more like, like a slight fruity flavor, very more minty. Like as you keep biting into it, you feel like the mint just spread. I would never buy these again, personally. Well, thank you. Like, Thank you, Therese, for sending them over. But I would have never made the investment out of my own pocket for these, personally. But regardless, I appreciate you taking them into consideration and sending them my way. All right, guys. So we're down to our very last two. Up next, we got a candy named Salomiaki Ruktu. All right. The way this one is described, it is a salty licorice sweet that apparently most Finnish people, at least the way she describes it, tend to like. Um, I love the fact that this one has the little Finnish logo, the little Finnish flag on there to indicate that it is a real Finnish product. And it looks very unique. It stands out with the red and black, and I'm assuming that's actually how the candy is gonna look like. So this seems to be by a company named Halva. Haven't tasted anything by them yet, but we shall try it out. Okay, these ones smell better, and they're in small little Hello darkness, my old friend. All right guys, so I just had a mistake, I'm sorry. But we still got some in here. We got, a good, we got more than half the packet in here, so that's really good. So let's check it out. We have three of them here on my palm. They're very, very tiny, bite size, definitely bite size. Uh, this is my finger. This is one of them. So very tiny, very consumable. Let's try one for now. 
Mm. You know what these remind me of? Beef jerky. If you guys have ever had beef jerky, this kind of reminds me of it. It is salty. And the salt is literally disguising the uh, the licorice. You have the texture of the beef jerky, but at the same time, it's still... Hmm. The aftertaste is definitely different. I feel like my cholesterol would go high trying these out too, too frequently. But these taste really, really good. What I like about this is that as I move it around in my mouth, I start feeling the intensity in the saltiness throughout it. The fact that they come in like small fun size, I could see you sharing this with like a family or a friend. If you're going out to the park or you're like in the car going on a road trip, I definitely recommend these. I'm gonna give this one an eight out of 10, all right? All right guys, so after all that licorice, we're finally ending it on a sweet note. <laughs> sweet notes. This last packet that we have here, it's called Fanteri, also by the company Facet. I could use some sugar right now. This one also does have, I'm assuming Panteri is a way of saying Panther in, in Finnish. It also has the Finnish flag on the upper left hand side or your upper right hand side. What? Somewhere up on this package itself. It's up here. Okay. Right off the bat, I do notice that it seems to be like a sugary type of flavor. I'm going to assume that it's fruits and yes, they are fruits. And then it's something called Anas, which I'm assuming means bananas. And then a whole bunch of other words that I just cannot understand, but we have a yellow a green an original one which seems to be black, dark blue, orange, and red. So let's give it a shot, guys. Jeez, my doctor's gonna be like, after this video, my doctor's gonna be like, hey, you have diabetes. I'm gonna be like, what? So these little tablets right here are actually more or less the size of like my fingers and what appears to be sugar. And yes, they all smell different. So I'm assuming that this is, oh, they're squishable. Okay. I'm gonna try the red one. I like red. So. So it is a chewable tablet. It is covered in deep by sugar. Not as sweet as I had imagined it to be, but I'm really, really loving the flavor of the red one so far, which apparently is halon or vadema, which I'm not sure what that means, but I like it. I'm assuming that it's gonna be like a strawberry flavor, but let's try the original one while we're at it. That one was much, much softer. And bitter. So I'm not sure what the original one is made out of, but whatever this original one is made out of, I'm not liking it so far. But the other flavored ones I would probably love, and I, I am gonna continue eating them as I go throughout my day and week. So thank you so much for sending these sweets. All right guys, so I'm gonna go on a limb that that original one, the, the black one that I tried out is licorice. Um, Jesus, all this licorice is making like my stomach turn. But I am very glad that you guys are sharing with me what is manufactured there and I'm giving them a shot. So I really appreciate you guys sending these over. Big thank you to Therese. I would have not been able to film this without your collaboration. So thank you so much. So her name on Instagram is Tapiz. Without her help, we would have not been able to film part one or part two of this. But Jesus Christ, the candies are definitely, definitely twisting my stomach because of so many. So we have reviewed over 11 at this point with this final package, all right? With that being said, this does conclude the episode for American Reacts to Finnish Candies. Guys, this was phenomenal. I'm so thankful that I had the opportunity to review this and do this with you guys here. Remember, these videos are being made by people just like you, so make sure you are leaving comments down below in order to let me know what you wanna see up next. So before I go, one last thing, I wanted to see if you guys could hit that subscribe button down below, hit that thumbs up, and or at least share it with a friend. Sharing it with one friend or a family member really does help out this channel a lot. It really, really means a lot to me. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys wanna see. Hasta la pasta, amigos. Whoop.